It's just the most recent proof that we are in a new paradigm here. Illinois is on the rise and we're open for business. Thank you. It's Governor J.B. Pritzker, um, what, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago now, earlier this month when he uh, was up in uh, Kankakee County in Mantino with uh, local officials and also officials from a Chinese business that's uh, building a $2 billion factory with uh, the help of uh, tax incentives uh, totaling uh, more than half a billion dollars just from Illinois. Gojin. They are a Chinese-linked company, and now we have uh, some concerns that have been raised uh, by not just state house Republicans, but by Republicans in both the U.S. House and the U.S. Senate. Uh, so let's get into this. Earlier this month, the governor in Mantino laying out the uh, the vision that uh, Gojin has to create an EV battery factory in the state of Illinois and doing so with the help of more than half a billion Dollars in uh, tax credits from the Reinventing Electric Vehicles Act, the REV Act. And this is, um, you know, tax credits for certain companies to come into Illinois, set up, and then they get uh, tax credits for, you know, the number of employees they have. And you even have the local government in Mantino uh, allowing for property tax freeze for Gojin. Uh, but Governor J.B. Pritzker, again, uh, talking about uh, what this means for Illinois, uh, that this uh, Chinese-linked company is uh, going to be setting up shop in Illinois. Welcome a world-leading battery manufacturer, Goshen Inc., to Illinois. With a $2 billion investment, Goshen intends to build a new state-of-the-art EV battery gigafactory right here in Mantino. So in summary, 2,600 new jobs, a $2 billion gigafactory, the most significant new manufacturing investment in Illinois in decades. It's just the most recent proof that we are in a new paradigm here. Illinois is on the rise and we're open for business. Thank you. We are in a new paradigm here, the governor says. Illinois is open for business. Um, when we talked with Mark Glennon, he's the founder of WirePoints, uh, he raised concern about the amount of subsidies and tax credits that are being laid out for this Chinese-linked company. It's not just the half a billion plus. I think it's $536 million that uh, the state is set to give in tax credits to Gojin. Um, it's uh, it's also the federal tax credits that are going to be given. Here's Mark Glennon from a conversation we had with him uh, last week. Uh, that, that, of course, comes from state taxpayers. But uh, the extraordinary thing is that under the federal tax credits, this is part of the Inflation Reduction Act, enormous credits are available. And uh, the source that we have indicates that these will come to some six and a half billion dollars over the uh, first five years, six and a half billion for a, for a plant that's only going to cost two billion to build. So again, uh, Glennon highlighting the amount of tax credits, but also uh, questions and concerns about um, China and their role in this company, uh, and specifically because you've got uh, the indication that China forces Chinese companies to essentially be an arm of the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, and uh, while Glennon says that's, uh, of course, kind of his understanding of this, uh, it really does raise concerns when it comes to what China has recently even told their citizens they need to do for the Communist Party of China. But I am certain that uh, that general risk that you described is there. And uh, just a couple of months ago, the Chinese government put out a directive to all its citizens state saying, we expect you to spy for the, this is part of your your uh, your obligation to your nation and they offered rewards and such for it so uh, yeah, this is suspicious. And uh, when you look at not just in Illinois, you've got a plant in Michigan that's also raising concerns, but you've also got in Illinois, State Representative Chris Miller saying that Illinois tax incentives should not go to those who, quote, spy on our country, steal our technology, and intend to drive American companies out of business. Miller said that Pritzker's giveaways borders being treasonous. Uh, and you have other uh, Republicans who are highlighting just that uh, they would not have supported the tax credits 
for reinventing electric vehicles if they knew that it was going to go to adversaries of the country, uh, including China. Also, in a letter that the U.S. House Select Committee on the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, sent Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen last week, it said Gojin High Tech Company is a People's Republic of China company that has direct ties to the CCP and state-owned financial institutions. This is coming from the U.S. Congress to the Treasury Secretary. gojin has been an active participant in the People's Republic of China-based version of the Thousand Talents Program, a program the FBI itself says encourages theft of trade secrets and economic espionage. Gojin's established multiple Communist Party units within its operations and has publicly sought PRC provincial government supports for its desire to expand its operations over Overseas. Uh, so since uh, reporting on that yesterday, you had a letter late yesterday from members of the U.S. Senate, including Marco Rubio, but also uh, members of the U.S. House, including Mike Bost from Illinois, sending a similar letter to uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. And in particular, uh, they highlight that um, Gojin uh, is uh, bringing that uh, battery plant to Illinois, expected to open next year. And they said in their letter, the extent to the CCP's control over this company is explicitly mentioned in the company's corporate bylaws, which require the company to carry out party activities in accordance with the constitution of the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, in 2021, the company hosted several company retreats where employees were mandated to recite a pledge of loyalty to the party, including to fight for communism. Uh, the company's recent investments effectively hand substantive decision-making regarding the management, operation, manufacture, and supply of the product that the Biden administration classifies as critical infrastructure to the People's Republic of China. Uh, so again, uh, various people signing on to this, including Mike Bost, uh, congressman from uh, Southern Illinois, and uh, congressman from uh, Michigan, John James, where they're facing a similar uh, situation with a Gojin plant getting tax credits and subsidies. So um, that's where we're at uh, in the uh, uh, questions and the red flags being raised around uh, Gojin. Uh, we'll see where that ultimately goes and what the governor's response is. Uh, if he's uh, going to hold a news conference anytime soon uh, in an area where I can ask such questions, uh, guaranteed I will uh, I will ask such questions. Uh, so follow me anywhere. If you want to stay up to date, just search Bishop on Air, Bishop on Air, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Just search Bishop on Air.